I was standing in a bakery in Bondi, watching people order all these different types of bread, and I thought to myself, I wonder if they actually know about the amount of work that Australian farmers have put in to make that happen. My goal is to tell the story of Australian farmers, who are the best and most sustainable in the world, through my photography showing the scale and the beauty of what they do with our land. John and I have been mates pretty much most of our life. We reconnected again when we sort of moved back to the area and Joe was a pilot and I was a photographer and away we went and we haven't stopped. All the hours that we've spent together in the air, he has now sort of started developing my eyes and he knows exactly what I'm going after and to the point now where he'll actually put me on shots even before I see them he could possibly be quite dangerous with a camera. Most people don't know where their food and fibre comes from and Josh does a great job by expressing the food and fibre in the form of art. Sadly, I think in this day and age, there's a bit of a disconnect. Not too many people either care for or have much of an understanding about the origins of their food or the clothes that they wear and bridging that sort of divide through art is a bit of an agenda for me for sure. A lot of the farming these days happens with industry grade GPS's which means really straight lines, big long runs and photographically that's a dream to work with because I love symmetry and there's lots of symmetry up in the air and lots of angles to work with and it all sort of translates really nicely. It's a great feeling, I mean, the concept of flight still blows me away after all the hours that I've spent in aircraft, it's still never lost in me. I really enjoy the flying aspect, but if I can get a shot and someone's blown away by what they see and then in the next breath they go, I don't even know what I'm looking at, well then I'm happy I've achieved what I'm going after. The technology's just got so good, the frame rates, what these lenses and sensors can see now, it's quite breathtaking. My intention is to turn it into fine art prints and then get it under the noses of people who would otherwise not normally be exposed to that type of artwork. It's a great story that we have here in rural Australia. It's really an honour to be able to actually help tell that story and then to show people and hopefully help with their understanding of where their three meals a day come from and where their clothes come from. This recent shot I made really typifies the journey of most Australian farmers and the boom and bust nature of what they do. If they can hang in there during a marginal season, they'll usually be rewarded with a good season. And this shot of wheat adjacent to some fallow country sort of looks like a line graph reflecting that positive trend. Australia's a, a massive, massive place and with the plane we have access to a lot of areas where most people wouldn't normally get to and it's all about being where other people aren't for me and we intend to showcase those parts of Australia that haven't been showcased yet.